of the reason he was chosen to be the Attorney General because of his intelligence, because of his um, 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 understanding the law very well. From prominent leaders to everyday heroes, our pioneers have all played an important role in transforming Singapore into the first world nation that it is today. These pioneers were ordinary people who went on to do extraordinary things. One such name is Tan Sri Dato Professor Ahmad bin Muhammad Ibrahim, who was during his time the pinnacle of Singapore's legal landscape. But uh, I know for certain that uh, Singapore Muslims and non-Muslims will seek his advice um, on, especially uh, in the law cases. So anything to do with law, um, Ahmad Ibrahim will be involved. He was a brilliant scholar at St. John's. Um, he'd gotten there not because he got special privileges, but he got there on merit. He won prizes and he became State Advocate General and later on when we became independent, he was the first Attorney General. A man who enjoyed the best of both worlds, Professor Ahmad Ibrahim perfectly embodied the interplay between Western thought and his own ethnic traditions. His unique outlook was evident even when he became Singapore's first Attorney General. It should not be forgotten that our first Attorney General was in fact a Malay and not a Malay who got there because he was given a boost with some Bumiputra policy. Someone who got there on his own steam, by his own intellect. When uh, Yusuf Ishaq, the first young Dipertuan Negara, was sworn in, you know, the Chief Justice was there, the first Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew was there, and um, the Attorney General Ahmad Ibrahim, as an Attorney General, was there, and he, uh, he was there with his songko and his Malay dress, baju kurung. I've never seen him without songko. Not even when he was the Attorney General. As Attorney General, several pieces of landmark legislation were directly drafted by Professor Ahmad Ibrahim. AMLA, or the Administration of Muslim Law Act, is one such example, with an impact that still echoes today. As the first Attorney General of Singapore in a newly independent country, there was a lot to do. But he also um, took it upon himself to uh, look upon uh, the administration of Muslim law. And this he did. AMLA is, is kind of a unique uh, legislation in the world. Um, because you, if you look at um, other countries, they don't really have provisions for Muslim law. AMLA is not generally well known beyond the Muslim community, but it sets up the Sharia courts, which has jurisdiction basically on, uh, in Muslim family law areas. It influences every aspect of Muslim life in, in Singapore, right from marriage to divorce to, to uh, faraid, uh, to the courts, to simple collection of zakat. A pioneer who did wonders behind the scenes, Professor Ahmad Ibrahim was also the backbone behind other significant threats in Singapore's history. Apart from anything else, um, as State Advocate General, he would have had general. He would have been there when we became independent. So he was involved in the negotiations. There was a very clear legal um, aspect to both merger and independence, and insofar as he was responsible, he would have contributed to the structure of, of, of society as we see it today. Um, certainly he would have advised the government on the legal aspects. In 1949, the interreligious organization was formed. Now, one of the founders was Ahmad Ibrahim. And you can see the constitution, the first constitution. You must know the law in order to write from it. And obviously, he was the one who drafted it. And of course, it was agreed upon by all the religious uh, leaders at that time. To many, Professor Ahmad Ibrahim assumed iconic proportion. 
He was a luminary and a paragon of virtue that left a truly indelible mark. His ability as a legal draftsman and his contributions remain unsurpassed despite the many years that have since gone by. I hope uh, there is a better appreciation for um, not only his contributions, but the contributions of his generation. Um, the, the, what they did uh, during that time was completely groundbreaking. They gave of themselves everything uh, for the community and for the country. We do have among us, among Singaporeans who are brilliant, who has done something to be remembered, who has done a lot for Singapore. The unseen hands. Ahmad Ibrahim is always in the background, but he has helped in the formation of the independence of Singapore. Professor Ahmad Ibrahim is someone we should be proud of. Someone who, who should not be forgotten and consigned to a footnote in history or a name on the board in AG's chambers. People should be aware that he was there. To those who know Ahmad Ibrahim, will know that he's a good man, he's a pious man, and he will always strive to do good. Not for himself, not for his family, but for all mankind.